In this video I'm going to talk about the disadvantages of companies. Hi, my name is The Alchemist, and in today's video we're going to chat about the pros and cons of corporations. Most people don't know that there are a lot more disadvantages than advantages, when it comes to working for a company, but luckily there are some ways around those downsides. Let me show you how with these few simple steps. But first let's discuss what a company is. A company is an association of people with the common goal to achieve success through unity. Companies come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, but they always have three main components, leadership roles for those who want them, shareholders that provide funding support from their investments such as shares or bonds which represent ownership interests within a firm's assets, and lastly employees working at one location doing work-specific tasks committed upon hiring date by contract terms. Now let's discuss the disadvantages of a company in complete depth. Number 1. Hefty Cost There are many costs associated with incorporating a business. The initial fee is typically the least expensive, but it may also be required that you hire an attorney or accountant if needed for any legal documents. Additionally there could potentially be other ongoing fees, as well such as those stemming from maintaining your corporation's status on file at various places, like Secretary of State offices around state lines etc. Number 2. Issue of Double Taxation one of the most common corporate structures in America is a C corporation. However, there are some potential issues with this type of business when it comes to taxation because they may have double taxation, being taxed both on profits and dividends paid out as cash backs by company owners or managers. The issue arises from two separate sources, firstly any profit earned within such an entity will generate additional income, before being distributed or reinvested back into its operations, secondly if management decides against paying themselves through salary instead opting for dividends, they will be taxed once more on those dividends. Number 3. Loss of Personal Ownership A corporation is a type of company that can be either publicly or privately traded. If the latter, one person doesn't retain complete control over their entity, Instead it's governed by directors elected by shareholders to make decisions on behalf of them, in much the same way an owner would command his property if he were present himself at all times during business hours. Number 4. Structure Needed You're required to follow all the rules laid out by your state when you form a corporation. This includes managing it, operational requirements and accounting practices for corporations in that particular jurisdiction, so be sure you know them beforehand. Number 5. Time-Consuming Paperwork Filing an annual report for your company is not just a routine task. In fact, the paperwork involved can be quite tedious and time-consuming. A wide variety of information must first go into detail about how much money was made in profit last year, as well as what happened with all expenses such advertising or marketing campaigns that may have been implemented throughout this period. What were any new regulations introduced by government agencies regulating these aspects? Number 6. Difficulty in Dissolving In order to get rid of a company, one must invest time and money into the procedures. This can be both an advantage as well as disadvantage, because it requires more work than just incorporating with no strings attached, but there is often also less flexibility if you want your business back at some point. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for more videos like that. Tell us in the comment section about how much you like the video, and any topic that you would like to hear from us. Thank you, from The Alchemist.